What it do YouTube man, it's your boy Bad Habits here and I'm back today with another video for you guys and today I have a bit of a banger for y'all today and it's crazy because this shit happened back when I was in third grade. I think I told this story already, I may have not, it probably has been taken now because it wasn't long enough or short enough, I don't remember. But this is the story of how I got almost put into juvenile into a juvenile detention center for sexual assault on my teacher. Now, if you sit there and say, oh wow, that's crazy, you don't know the half of it, because this bitch here, oh my god. So a little bit of backstory. We moved into Tallahassee around around this area. This is the area that I stay in, Tallahassee. For like since at two in 2009, we've been in this area since 2009. So you can imagine how funny it is for someone from a totally different city comes to a big the big city, so one of the big cities in town, a big city in the state, and goes to one of their hood schools, right? So around 2010, we move into our apartment and we start going to a school called Bond. Now, Bond Elementary School. If you lived here, you know exactly where the fuck I'm talking about. Right next to the community center of um, what it was. Not Fort Walton. That's Fort Walton. Freak. Um, I forgot the name of the community center, but it's right in front of the community center. And literally is right down the street from the school, the middle school. Now, we know where the school is. Now on to the teacher. Now the teacher at hand, her name was Miss Mullins, and I'm not twisting her name because she's probably either dead or old as fuck or some other shit, right? But her name was Miss Mullins, short black teacher, like black as black as me, or look like she looked like a fatter Miss Miss e. Elliot. She that's what she looked like, a fat Miss e. Elliot that couldn't rap or you know respect other people. You know what I mean? But she that's what she looked like. And when I got to that school, I had three different teachers, Miss Parrish, Miss Williams, and Miss Mullins. Miss Parrish and Miss Williams were the coolest teachers ever. They taught they taught me like I was an, uh, like a normal like a normal student. Miss Mullins on the other hand, she was that type of teacher that will sit there and f try to force the shit down your throat and not teach you how to do it. She just sit there and say this is how you do it. She wouldn't say this is how you do it. She would sit there and say she would sit there and say, do it, and then grade you based off how you did. Like, for example, like, we got in trouble at one point. We got, we accidentally did some stupid shit as students, and her punishment was we had to do, like, 10 pages of the hardest math for a third grader. Everybody had to do that shit for a whole week. We had to do those 10 pages. If those 10 pages wasn't done by the end of the week, you have, you scored an F, or you scored either a D or an F if you didn't get far enough. That's how fucking crazy this bitch was. And it didn't make sense because she got pissed off at the littlest of things. But I got to that when I got to that school, those were my three teachers. Miss Mullins was the most hated one because when the first day I got there, she treated me like shit. I got there, I was the silent type. I didn't speak to nobody, I didn't do shit to nobody. I was minding my own business. I was the calmest person you could ever sit there and see, and the most calmest person you could sit there and be around. Literally. So, imagine coming to a school and you're already being bullied by a teacher instead of a student, right? So, I'm the quietest student there. On that first day, I believe, I didn't know what we were doing. On that first day, she played like a little math CD thing. She was a math teacher. Uh, she played a little math song CD thing. And, I, and we were supposed to, and the students were supposed to get up and sing and dance with it. So, I was looking around crazy. I didn't know what to do. She got pissed off at me because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And shit like that. And she yelled at me for doing this shit. But this was the start of some other bullshit. This was the start of some more bullshit with her. Right? But that was the start of that bullshit. She got pissed off at me for not standing up and dancing with the other students at this weird math song bullshit. Right? So, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's how it all started. She got mad at me over that. So, every fucking day, the fucking, every day I was going to school there, she would come at me on some bullshit. And every time, there was times where she came in, there was times, 
not even, I'm not gonna say it was 60% of the time her coming at me over some bullshit or she coming at me with some bullshit and I sit there and fucking school her ass. And it's the funniest shit ever. Cause like we'll be in the middle of class, I'll be not paying attention, I have ADHD obviously. So I'm sitting down either writing in the book, writing some stupid shit down or drawing or some shit or doodling or staring off into space and shit like that. She will ask me a question, I will look at the board to see what she's talking about and answer the question correctly. And she'll get pissed off at, she'll get pissed off silently at me. Like I was not, like I was stupid or some shit like that. And it will just be it, all that shit the entire, it's just that shit up until the day in question. Now, that was a little backstory of Miss Mullen. She was that type of teacher who would abuse, she wouldn't, she wouldn't physically abuse, but she would try to mentally abuse her students, right? So, this day in question happened. Now, understand, I was like 10, maybe 11, and this shit happened, and this shit happened after, if you've been to, if, you, if you've been to a public school, you know they have those days where they talk about sexual abuse and sexual assault and you know kidnapping and all the other shit right that day happened a few years pri- a few days prior so this shit happened a few days after that shit right so after we did that whole a few a few days ago we did the whole sexual assault sexual abuse all the other shit fucking get together with the students and the teachers and shit like that a few days after that we're coming out of a special area now this is third grade, so you, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know what special area is, then y'all are too young. But we had special area. We're coming from the music special area, and we were playing with violins. So we coming out of special area, and we're walking in a single file line. Miss Mullings starts doing this, like doing this weird shit where she would, she's doing this weird shit, right? So she started giving students, specific students, hugs and shit. And remember, when, if y'all don't know me, I am the nicest, like I said, I am the nicest dude ever. I'm silent when I'm around people if I don't know them, but I'm the nicest dude ever. I will help you out with anything and all that other shit. So I'm over here, so I'm over here looking at all the things like, oh, she's being nice today. I'm gonna try to give her a hug and be respectable. She, this is the shit that kills me, right? She's giving people hugs. The moment I walk up to give her a hug, she, I never told nobody this, but she puts her hands up and tries to mush me off her. This is the part of the story that I never really told everybody, told anybody, but she tried to mush me off her. I didn't even get close to her to touch her. My, like, my finger probably like nicked her, like nicked her arm, but she mushed me off her and we, and she continued walking down the hallway. Me being, you know, confused, like, okay. And shit like that, and we came and I stayed and got back in line and I went and thing. This fat ass, and, and, and out of nowhere, this fat ass white, female police officer the deputy comes running like speed walking down the hallway towards us and when i tell you it's the bro i've never seen i've never seen a suit sit there and beg for his life that that whole entire outfit that that deputy's outfit that that white bitch had on that shit was begging for him the belt was fucking creasing while stretching how the fuck does it crease while stretching that's my question but the deputy comes like like not sprinting but speed walking down the hallway like with a, a very bad look um, like a very mad look and the deputy called out my name i turn around in confusion because i'm in the back of the line and she grabs and she grabs me like every other kid she grabs me by my shoulder and grabs me by my arm and drags me pretty much drags me down to the fucking principal's office and miss Mullins is like they should put cameras in this in this hallway because i got because this don't make no damn sense and shit like that but i'm getting and she said that as i was walking away and when i got to the principal's office the got down to the, the, the one who was in the by near the principal's office the deputy was like you know exactly what the fuck you did you're gonna sit there and, you're gonna sit there and sit there and think about it when we call your parents and I'm like what the fuck did i do exactly right so we get so again so that's what they was doing to me before I even got the chance to talk to the, the principal. Which, now that I think about it, they did this shit to my brothers too. I'm a, I'm not gonna tell their stories. They're gonna tell their stories if they want to, but they did this shit to my brothers too. Me on the other hand, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And everybody knows at the age of like 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe not even 13, 10, 11, maybe nine, right? When it comes down to telling your side of the story, you know you stutter, you don't know how to explain shit. Because you're a kid, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And people are always gonna assume that you're lying, right? So, this is how I knew my mama was real, right? So, I'm in the principal's office. I'm talking with the principal about the situation. The, 
principal said I sexually assaulted my teacher by grabbing her, trying to grab her tit, her tits. When in reality, I didn't even get nowhere near close to her, and I barely even laid a finger on her, but she mushed me in my fucking face. Crazy, right? So, she asked me, where did I touch her? Me being a third, me being like 10, I'm like, the fuck you mean by that? I didn't, the fuck? Like, what do you mean by that? You think I grabbed her by her waist? Grabbed her by her tits? Like, I grabbed her cooch? What the fuck are you talk, asking me about that for? What, what, what are you asking exactly? And he's like, show on the body where you touched her. So I'm like, I'm sitting there confused. Like, here? Like, the f- here somewhere? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And the, de- and the principal of the deputy like, don't sit there and lie. Don't sit there and try to fucking plead, pop, cop, please. You know damn well what you know. You know exactly what the fuck you did. They didn't say like that, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm improvising. Like, they sit there like, you know exactly what you did. And I'm calling your parents and your mom's up going to be up here soon. So I'm like, what the freak is going on? right so fast forward my mom gets there she's sitting in the principal room with me and this is how you know my this is how i know my mom was a real one because when she came into that room she like when she came into that room i could hear from the outside she's like what the fuck did the, what the fuck did these people want now when they keep sitting there, like what the fuck these people want now because i'm getting tired of them calling me about my boy and i know damn what my boy didn't do shit right she comes into the room right so she already has that 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 you know that face where they have to they have to make that you no know, adults make that face for them to be greetable, right? So she comes to the room, she starts talking to the principal, and she's talking to the principal, and the principal's talking about well your son here tried to sexually assault a teacher and and it was almost caught on camera, but we don't have cameras in that area. But Ms. Mon- but Ms. the teacher said that he was trying to touch he was trying to touch her inappropriately. And my mom looked at me and was like, son, I was like, TK, where did you touch her? And I'm sitting there like I don't know. And I'm sitting there like, I don't know. And I can look into her and she looked directly in my face and sat there and said, Well, you don't need to be doing that here. And I can see in her eyes like, yeah, I know you didn't do it. Like, we know. I already know. These niggas just be lying purposely and shit like that. So she's sitting there saying, she said, so this thing like she's just saying like the punishment is a three day suspension and shit like that. You she would go to Juvie, but let's be honest, what would be the purpose of sending a, a kid like him to Juvie? He's just going to come back and do it again. Basically sitting there saying that I was going to be a criminal. To my mom and to my face. Right? So, I get suspended from school and kicked out of school for that day. So, on the ride home, I'm sitting there silent. And my mom was sitting there in the room, sitting there in the car. It's like, she sat there and said this shit. She sat there and said this shit. TK, I know you didn't do it. I obviously know you didn't do it. That bitch keeps getting on my fucking nerves. I try to get you in trouble. But just because, just because... I don't want you to ever do it again without without them telling you or you doing this shit on purpose or you getting more intrigued to do it again. I'm going to have to beat your ass. So I got an ass whooping when I got home. I got an ass whooping for the teacher lying on me about sexual assault. My mom didn't do it, but she sat there and punched. She still beat my ass to make sure I didn't do it again in the future. But that teacher lied on me and got my ass whooped for no reason. And this is not the only time she's done that. She's done it on Chris during Christmas time. There was a moment where we was watching the Christmas sh- Christmas show, or one of the Christmas exp- um, um, things for the music school shit, right? The, the music teacher and shit like that, right? So I'm sitting on the third row because I wasn't participating in the shit, right? So I'm sitting down. And I sat there and said, "Wow, this really sh- this really sounds like Shrek." This really sounds like Shrek. That's what I said. Miss Mullings over here me say that sat there and said, did you say this really sounds like shit? And I was like, really? <laughs> you heard the S-E-K, S-H-E-K. You heard Shrek. There's an R in there. I'm an idiot. S-H-R-E-K, sorry. You heard me say Shrek. Why the fuck would I say shit? And that's the craziest part. Is like, she purposely tried to point out shit that I didn't do. And that was the funniest shit to me because she really went after me. But thank God that she doesn't work at that school no more because a few years later after I left that school and went to a different school called Hartsville, I have another story where someone stole a phone and I almost got like in trouble for it. But but that's been the video for today, you guys. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.